Hey, today's a PCB way day, but it's not circuit boards. Um, I needed some uh, parts made, uh, some like aluminium parts, and I thought I'd use PCB Way's uh, machining service, their CNC machining service, and see how it turns out. So I've got some uh, TM500 modules, like this one here. It's a DM502 digital multimeter mod, uh, module, and um, it uh, was damaged on the front. So, uh, where is it? This one here. So there's meant to be a piece all the way across there and all the stuff at the bottom's breaking off. This is kind of common for the older TM500 series modules. Uh, the edges get banged around and they break off like that. <laughs> um, also, because they got countersunk screws to hold them on, there's outwards force on the plastic. So once it gets a few knocks and a fracture starts, that pressure from the screw pushes outwards and it, it just continues the breaking and it just, all the corners just fall apart and because this one's thin around the top the whole thing's just disintegrating so also i've got uh two more which are looking no good around the bottom that's from a uh, sg504 leveled sine wave generator definitely worth fixing uh, it goes up to like over a gigahertz fantastic for uh calibrating scopes and a pg506 actually that way where the top's all broken another one that's really good for calibrating scopes so definitely worth fixing so um, I've got the uh, all the front panels here. I'm reusing those because these are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. There's a little bit scratched up on that with age, but yeah, not a problem there. And that's the uh, PG506 minus the front panel. So in this box, we have got some replacements. And it looks like we've got a PCB ruler. If I can get it out. Ah, there we go. Yes, a yellow PCB ruler. Nice. Always like the uh, the loot. Fantastic. So what have we got here? This one, I don't know. <laughs> I have to take it out and have a look. Ah, that's a PG506. So I've got a machine out of aluminium, and I've got them uh, blasted and then clear anodized. Look at that. Beautiful. They actually came up really, really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one... Just checking it, making sure the all the corners are nice and rounded, so that's beautiful. Let's see if the uh, the front panel part fits in there. Yes, perfect. Positions of things, spot on. Yes, looks like <laughs> I did a job. I did a good one. So that one is good. Okay, next one. This one is the SG five hundred four. So does that one fit there? It does. It's a little bit. This this is a little bit bent because it was actually dropped. That's half the reason why it's all um, it was all broken. All around the bottom there. I've tried to glue it up a bit. Not really working very well. But yeah, and because it was broken and that was you can see it's where it's all been bent. Maybe you can see there. Uh, the whole chassis was slightly twisted, so this being perfectly flat will tweak that back into alignment. So that is also practically perfectly lined up. Awesome. And last but not least, the digital multimeter module. So this one was a little bit more fancy. We'll get that out of the way. See, these ones are flat on the back, right? Uh... It's flat on the back, not a problem, but this one, where is it, here, it's got a bit of extra stuff sticking out. So these ones are easy to machine because they can be just a flat plate and uh, just machined like 2.5D or whatever they call it, two-dimensionally. Uh, this one needs the extra like process, so it's a little bit more complicated, but you can see how much is missing there compared to the, the new one and the old one. And, does it fit? Of course it does. It fits perfectly. That's really, really good, actually. So let's have a closer look and see what the go is with these things. So, this one here, basically perfect. Yep, I can't see any problems there at all. Nice and rounded on the, the front there, like the standard plastic one. Yeah, looking pretty good. Now this one here, there's a, oh, there's a little bit of a nick there. 
if I get that right, you can just see there, but I think that might be like the uh, machining where they clamped it down to machine it. But that's not much of a problem because it's going to be behind that anyway. So no complaints. I mean, for a prototype service, yeah, there's going to be a little, few little bumps and scratches or like your yeah, little imperfections here and there. Uh, if I was to do a run of like 10,000 of these, things would be dialed in perfectly, like much, much, much closer than what they've done with these. And these are basically perfect anyway. So uh, this one here is the multimeter. So the top is looking fantastic. I'm actually really happy with the way that finish has come out. That blasting and uh, they, uh, I don't know if it's bead blast, just to give it a bit of a texture. And then they, uh, yeah, the clear anodizing. I can see some machining marks just here. Hopefully that's going to focus. Right there, you can see like the little one there. And then on this side is the mirror image. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it doesn't matter because that can't be seen from the side. And um, the side of the, uh, the side panel comes up to there, so you'll never see that anyway. But where it counts, which is the outside edge, and that return over the top, they are all fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to stop uh, fawning over these things. And maybe we'll put one of them together and see what it looks like. Seeing as I've got this one on the bench, we'll put that one on first. These two, I'll put them on and show you what they look like at the end. I'll just uh, put this one together now. Because this one's relatively simple, it shouldn't be too hard to do. Okay. So I'll get myself organised, figure out which is red and which is black and which is white. And we'll see what happens. You'll see there's an extra hole there, which doesn't actually go anywhere. That's because there's an option for these where you can have a temperature sensor, which this one doesn't have. But on my design, I added it in because it is on the original. Yes, there. So this one will work on any type. Uh, these files, I'll release these files. Um, I'll double check that they actually are, the, are correct and they look pretty much perfect. So um, I'll, I'll release these files. So if you have these devices, you can um, download this and, uh, and fix your own stuff. So that's looking pretty good. There's nothing that's obviously not fitting. The, uh, the screen there doesn't bind on anything. It's all nice. I actually thickened up around here a bit. You can see here and here, I added a bit more meat just to make it a little bit stronger, even though the aluminum is much, much stronger. But that's looking pretty good. So um, yeah, I'll continue with putting this on. I have to take these uh, these off to get it on because the screws go behind the aluminium panel. But I just wanted to double check that everything was going to fit properly first with it clamped up. So that is looking really good so far, super solid. Now there is one part that I won't be using anymore and that's this. See, on the original parts, there's actually a recess on the back. If I hold that close, you might be able to see it. Yeah, you can see that line. There's actually a thin recess, so that this panel goes in there like that. That's for two reasons. One is to provide shielding, and the other reason is to provide extra strength, so when you clamp down on it, it's not directly onto the plastic, which is going to cause it to like fatigue and warp. It's onto the aluminium, and you've got the aluminium on the other side, which clamps and spreads the load over a much larger area. But because we've made this one out of aluminium, we didn't need that anymore. So you can see the back, there's no lip because we don't need the aluminium plate because that is a full thickness aluminium plate. So that piece will no longer be used.
is. Look at that. Looks beautiful. That is so good. Never, never chipping off again. Oh, yeah. There's one or two little modifications I'll make. Just like a little notch in the aluminium there. And then one there. Nothing wrong with this one. But uh, for the one you download, we'll have a few little modifications. And, uh, yeah, then it will be uh, perfect. That is really good. Or I'll do the other two. I'll show what they look like when it's done. And here we are with all the front panels replaced. The three that I got made. Fantastic. They look really good. So the SG-504 is done. PG-506. These two are used for calibrating uh, oscilloscopes and whatnot. And then the uh, DM-502, which is just a standard, I think it's a three and a half digit multimeter. So yeah, you can see there. All looking really, really nice. Nice and smooth, no chips, it's not going to break. Looking really, really good. The SG-504. There we go, look at that. Beautiful. Yep, 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 I'm happy with that. That's really good. Now the versions that um, you download, I've done a few little updates, just things on the size of the holes for clearances and stuff. And um, I've put it like a... A groove down the side just on the inside along here so that the uh, the edge so when that clips in this edge here will then go in there and like kind of hold it captive so it can't be all wobbly wobbly so just a few little improvements but as these stand these are done and are really really nice that is looking fantastic so special thanks once again to PCBWay for that I've been saying it before in the previous videos. They do more than PCBs, CNC, uh, three printing, even injection molding. And so this here is an example of their CNC work, and it is really nice. Beautiful, uh, bead blasted and anodized, clear anodized, uh, just standard aluminium, and it's come up really well. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm really, really happy, as you can probably tell, that um, the way these came up. So uh, yeah, if you need some uh, CNC work done, definitely give PCBWay a try. Uh, the prices are pretty good. I think these are worth about 45 bucks each for each front face, so it's not too bad, especially when it's a one-off um, one off thing, uh, plus postage, of course. So, uh, yeah, as a bit of a rough guide. But, yeah, upload your uh, 3D files, see what the uh, the quote says, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you won't be disappointed with the quality because I certainly aren't with these three. So that's all we got. Special thanks once again to PCBWay, and uh, you'll find the files for these if you need them uh, in the links down below. We'll see you in the next one.